What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're back on Hearts of Iron 4 and we're returning to the mod which you all know is one of my faves. It's the Great Kerfuffle Redux mod. Uh, <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing the kerfuffle again because YouTube have cracked down on all the words you're not allowed to say at the start of the video and I don't know what's right or left anymore. I'm a confused middle-aged man. Anyway, if you're happy to see stuff back on the channel, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I've been gone a little while and had some personal stuff that's that 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 really. Uh, we all know that feeling, right? And then I've been psyching myself out a lot about just kind of getting back to the grind, you know. Uh, so anyway, we're back to it. The channel's back. I'm back. My face ain't back because I just don't really fancy like being on camera. But it, it, it so we're gonna go for the classic Alex the Ramble, like 2017 to 2019, 2020. Ah, I, is there a, is there has there ever been a year that hasn't been classic Rambler? No, because I decide. Anyway, my God, is this just gonna be the un, the return of the start of unhinged Rambler? Now I just say whatever there I I feel like. Within reason, according to the YouTube criteria, so I can still make an income. You're gosh darn right I am. Anyway, today we're back on the great... Oh, it's the Redux. I'm on the wrong one. That's embarrassing, isn't it? At least I noticed uh, before the actual content started, didn't I, Matt? So... <laughs> so what I really love about this particular... the the, the not the Not the Redux, just the original... A great kerfuffle mod is that there's an entire start date which I just haven't really explored much before. Doesn't look like I've covered the 1919 start date. So, did you know that there is a 1919 start date in Hearts of Iron 4? Well, now you do. It's called the Aftermath of Versailles. So, the conflict known as the Great Something or Other has finally come to an end. The Central Powers have been defeated and carved between Entente members, but world peace is still far from reality. Civil things rage in the East, particularly in Oh Dear, while instability plagues in the other place, and oh, look at that one, in the former Central Powers, even now peace and prosperity must be fought for. What can I say on YouTube nowadays? I'm sure we all want to take a little look at the map and see just what's going on here. Wee! So we have the aftermath of Versailles, and this is the state of the world in, in July 1st, 1919. Where's the Ottoman Empire, I hear you say? Well, it's got a, um, I was about to say it's got the tumour the size of Turkey, but that's not exactly a gross exaggeration. Greece, look at them nabbing a little bit over here. Cheeky cheeky. Is North America about the same? Yep. And if we look at the interesting countries, the first one is the Weimar Republic. So with the collapse of the German Empire, its shadow, the Weimar Republic, has taken... I'm, I'm probably even pronouncing Wei Weimar wrong, isn't it? Or is it Weimar? The Weimar or Weimar? Weimar. Weimar. Is it Weimar? Is it Weimar? Tell me in the comments below if you're English, if you're German. Just let me know. Time to pronounce with Alex. But let's try. Let's try. I don't know how broken the 1919 start date is, but we start off with a shame of defeat and we've also got heavy military restrictions. I don't even know if it's going to be possible to get a proper playthrough as Germany, but we'll try Friedrich Ebert. Here we have it. Uh, looks like we have a whole 18 divisions. Ooh. <laughs> and uh, obviously, as this is the 1919 start date, a lot of the tree has already been completed. Uh, and we're still a long way off from like 1919 to 36, where the Rhineland is meant to be able to take place. But you require the Knight of the Long Knives, which you need 1934. So I can have a civil war, or I could crush the Spartacists. I've also got massive effort, giggity. I can also get a fucker. Plain, plain, YouTube, plain. So honestly, I'm really not sure there's a whole lot that's achievable in Germany. Huh, but you can have military youth and, and but again, there's not really anything that you can do. Can you add political advisors? We can see, got the next election in June, 2020. So not, uh, 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 Sorry, 1920. Let's just try. 
is, is Weimar, Germany. The only national spirit we have is heavy military restrictions. That's our leader. We barely have a navy now. Sad, sad times. But let's go ahead with uh, massive effort. Gives us a bit of bit, bit, a little bit of pee pee. Field artillery or heavy artillery. Here we are. What kind of planes? I wonder. We have. I'll take it. <gasps> How haven't we had carrier pigeons for the tanks? Oh, come on now. That's got to be the first thing I research above all else. It's got to be the pigeon. Shout out to the uh, Hoi 4 tutorial maker, Pigeon. Oh, they haven't expanded the land doctrine. So do I, once I've completed this, can I then unlock mobile warfare maybe? Maybe. I don't know if they've limited my air force, but I'm going to pretty much ignore the restrictions they've given me anyway. Whoa, look how much coal I have. I'm very rich in coal. I'm sure that's never going to turn out to be a bad use of resource. This will be quite interesting just to see how the map changes over the next few months. So if nothing else, we get a little bit of a Drew Dunhill video. There's some commies rise up in Hungary. Yeah, well, they're not getting it. Oh, my. Yeah, you're not going to overthrow Joseph, are you? Looks like the Soviets are at... Are they at war with Poland? They are. I could liberate Constantinople. But you have to... Oh, you have to restore the Teutonic Order. Yeah, again, like, we're locked out of basically everything in this tree. Got any good generals left? No. That, yeah, I don't think that this start date is the most polished out of all of them. Uh, it may... It, I think it's probably just meant to be functional. Oh, if you're still watching the video, and if you haven't left a like, please do. It would really help this video reach more people than it may not may may do at the moment because the algorithm won't favor me because I'm a, because I took a break. Oh, Turkey declared Turkey? Turkey declared war on the Ottoman Empire. No surprise there. I wonder if I can flip my nation to a different ideology and then just ignore the heavy military restrictions. Well, let's see if I can just make things a little odd. An alt oh, I'm creating an alternative version where Germany ended up going down the red path in 1920. Uh-oh. I, I, uh, um, re-equipped infantry. Here we go. Yeah. And what am I producing? I'm producing heavy artillery. Does that support artillery there? No. I'm missing towed artillery. Damn it! Oh, I can just do that. I can just do the Spartacus Bund becomes the ruling party and then public elections won't be held. Oh. Oh, right. We're going to have a... Do This is what happens when I don't do enough research into what the actual mod is ahead of time. I mean, I did, actually. I did I did look at this and thought, could I... Can I make an interesting video? And I'm still not sure. However, Poland is really trying its best to give us one here. So let's, let's thank you, Poland the Chad, for creating the world's first double erection. So how's White Russia getting on? Doesn't look like they're going to capitulate anytime soon. I really have no idea of the state of the forces. And the I forgot about that. How could I have forgotten it? You fool. You have no power here. Willkommen to the Socialist Republic of Germany in 1920. We're led by Ernst Thalmann. Here we go. What are you going to do when I walk all over you? Whee! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh yeah. And then can I contact Trotsky? Oh sure. Hey Trotsky. Yes. We're communists now too. Very nice. Probably should have just don't do Trotsky's voice in freaking Bora, Alex. Jeez. I'm gonna try and have a good game against Poland. Could you imagine? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I I I'm gonna be the big spreader of communism. Not not Soviet Russia. No, first I'll crush them. Wait, what year am I? In at the moment, I'm just like, let's conquer you, I'll conquer you, well, then I'll go and conquer you too. You want to be conquered? Fine, I'll conquer you too. Alt Kamadan, join Soviet Russia in their war against Poland. I'm going to dab on you, haha, -ha, going to dab on you. Oh, they have a lot of divisions. I need to kind of see the template design of the... Hmm. Damn it. <laughs> sake, Lenin. I figured if I if, if I lose Königsberg and whatever, I, I I don't have the troops for a two front uh, war. So oh I, I I should probably have a larger air. That's why I was making an air for us. Supremacy over the skies of Poland when we send the commie pilots down amongst the German pilots. I shouldn't really define them by their political ideology. <laughs> That's just, the one border guard just thinking oh there's a lot of Germans coming on holiday. 
Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> so just before that kicks off, looks like Turkey is going to defeat the Ottomans. I'm really unsure as to what's happening over here. China is all just chilling. China, be chilling. The rest of the world, I, I think it... Oh, well, all right then. It's Turkey versus Greece, and it looks like Greece is losing their, their little mainland there. So, oh well. I don't think Italy's up to much. Yeah, no one's really up to anything. Could I actually just justify now? Oh, this is good. Yes, 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 yes. There's the... the what? How far away was I from finishing that before they had... Oh, it's not a scripted peace deal, is it? Did I just leave it too long? I've had so many problems with, with structured peace deals here. So... Oh! That's disappointing. I'm very sad, but at least I can just justify on people manually. So you know what? Are you still at war with Ukraine? Soviet Russia, Mongolia. Ah, ah, Ukraine and Poland have a truce now. Okay, okay, you, you win this time. I'll go after easier meat. It's German Austria. Yeah, I don't have cause on it. What BS is that? You know? Actually, do you know what? No, 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 I, I didn't even need Russia's help for this. I'm getting back my, yes, I'm retaking my core state. Yeah, goddamn right I am. We will fight to retake our cause or die trying. We're rebuilding the German Empire, but this time we're all the Kaiser. Everyone's a Kaiser. You get a Kaiser, and you get a Kaiser, and everyone gets a Kaiser. Hey, it's a new deuce. Uh, ignore the, ignore the, ignore the shell that I just developed. Ignore that. Uh, I need, I need to keep track on how many days. Oh, okay. Well, apparently time goes very quickly here, and I don't have an army. Uh, when does it expire? It doesn't because it's core. Okay. All right. I c I've got time to prep them. I didn't realize how quick the days were going by. I'm not used to ho Hoy running this fast, but I guess because there's like, there's nothing going on. Um, sort of. What's their template? Do they have art? They 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 only have infantry. They just have infantry in their templates. Oh my giddy aunt! They haven't developed artillery. Ah, uh, the recently independent peoples sure are easy to conquer, aren't they? So I've already broken, I think, the treaty of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not limited anymore. Okay, I'm gonna wait till my troops are in position, but I'm not too concerned that they can push me because my division templates. Yeah, they have between like two and seven infantry per tile. Are they going to attack? Excuse me. Oh, well, that's disappointing that I that I outnumber them in the skies. Yet they're they're kind of dabbing on me. Um, so I'm just going to do that, and then let's see if we can just dab on their. Uh, let's just see if we can dab on their army. Right, I forgot that this was World War One technology still, didn't I? Right, I'll be stopping that. I thought that was going to be a complete easy conquest there, but turns out I'm a Wally. But they have uh, they have no artillery or heavy weapons or anything, so I guess if they expend some of their strength, it's, this will actually be fine for us. I guess this means it's very good for grinding, and we are slowly taking their ah. There we are, slowly getting control of the air. White Russia would like a non-aggression, very good. But I guess this allows us just to kind of work on improving our army. And I guess at least they're slowly... Oh, they, I mean, they're taking a lot of casualties, yeah. I, I don't really see how they'll be able to sustain those losses over time. Oh, they, they can't. Uh, I, I, on the other hand, can. Research, is, there's so much research. Help me with the research and button clicking sometimes people ask me alex uh why do you forget about research or why don't you get more research slots sometimes honestly sometimes it's because it's just one more thing to micro and i am a little lazy sometimes <laughs> how have you all been doing why don't you let me know what you've been up to in the comments below had any good playthroughs recently or anything you think you'd like to see on the channel um apart from me defeating poland this should not be this hard <coughs> Logistics wizard, thank you. That's very handy. Actually, how many trucks do I have? Horse-drawn vehicles... D oh no. Oh, I... Okay, so, we have, in the army now, 316,000 troops ready to go into Poland. Hopefully, with superior firepower. Such an odd uh, year to be playing, Hoi in 1921. Hmm, just having a good... Just a 
enjoying it though. Because I think that this is this is this isn't a structured playthrough anymore, really. It's just like do what you want to a certain extent. What are the allies gonna do? Well, at the moment, nothing. But I, I and I hope that continues. Anyway, uh, I've bided my time a little bit longer. I've let them kind of just wear themselves out, and now I'm going to utterly destroy them. And then we're gonna push across the river. And I think that's when I will start doing convoy raiding and just start uh, blitzing them, really. But it does look like we're just demolishing them now. That's a lot of encircled troops here. Take back Danzig. But even if they do try and get out, I hope my ships are going to be able to stop them. But I don't know where they're going to go. So, they, so this may just be a very, very, very big destruction of this army here. There we go. The heads be popping off. And Warsaw has fallen. Just kidding. Yeah. I think I've got all right divisions now. I mean, the stats are still awful, but theirs are even worse. I honestly think I'll just puppet Poland. Yeah, we're spreading like the Zivab Revolution. I could add war reps as well. Oh no, I think I'll just add resource rights. No, I don't even need that from the... Oh, you have how much oil down there? And you'll give me some of your factories. There we go. Welcome to the world revolution of, of me. Okay. Oh, the bill pu the bill pu the beer hall putsch. We can finally do something almost relevant. Let's see if he gets a successful putsch. And if anything happens when I start justifying on Wilhelmina. Sorry, Wilhelmina. France is justified. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I've decided to get revenge. I say that so casually. So anyway, this time I I'm going to go for, um, well, obviously France. And <laughs> and the Benelux. This, like, You'd think the Netherlands would be like, bruh, we were neutral last time. Well, this time you're not. So look out, because I'm coming for you. And why do we have lack of supply? Because there isn't... There isn't a supply... The supply hub Strasbourg, I believe, for this. Oh, there's not one in Stuck... Ugh. Oh. So we've had a coup attempt. This coup is utterly hopeless. Shut him up. Locked you up. Lock him up. We're, we're helping you, Dutch workers. We're helping you. I'd like to say I'm nervous, but I, I'm going to... Okay, no. It, sorry, ignore me saying that. I was about to get really, really up myself then. I was like, oh, you know what? Did so great against Poland. Everything else is going to be fine. Remember, we're in 1922. The Allies aren't a thing. The Entente apparently isn't. Again, this 1919 start date, think of it as like an open 1919 sandbox to a certain extent. I still think it's probably worth trying. We'll, we'll see how as this goes. Oh, they would take my... F <sighs> okay, so we built the supply hub and now everything's all fine. Uh, I could have probably have gone away, got away with upgrading the railways, but without an actual supply hub, you know, I'll just build one in that area. I'm convinced a lot of our divisions should be better than theirs. Oh, they've upgraded their divisions. Um... What? What? No, 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 no. Right. I... Maybe picking off more than I can chew here. That's okay. This could be a short-lived uh, communist Germany that we have going here. Um, let's send in Gunther to uh, seduce some French ladies. Hello, my name is Gunther. Would you like to have intercourse? <laughs> no, Gunther. What, what, what goes on? I don't know to, if I need to apologise for that one or not. I'm just having a giraffe. A goof and a gaff. Ouch. Well, anyway. If I can secure the coastline, uh, that'll be alright. I need to take over the Netherlands before... Oh, I've got makeshift bridges with this dude now. Increases river crossing attack. Attack! Ah! I didn't even know I was capitulating all of those. What just happened there? Um, what the heck is this? Complaints of a fixed draft and an ex exaggerated such deaths of 50,000 soldiers. Oh my god. Uh, but we're absolutely dabbing on them here. Uh, along with aerial superiority, very nice. I'll sterilize, I'll increase construction, I'll get exhaust efficiency with mining and stuff. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I have a core state of Belgium, do I? Justify on you too, Charlotte. I probably need to deploy some rather terrible garrisons. Just so they're there, you know? Although, I forget if people... Oh, they... Yes, okay, other nations do have navies. But do they even send them out? Let's just have a little... Oh. 
Oh, right, they're not in the faction. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Well, I'll take all of your ships. Puppet the Netherlands. I'll take those, though. And then the Dutch East Indies will also be puppeted. Welcome. Uh, welcome to La Revolution. Okay, yes, uh, their navy is out and instantly obliterates anything that I touch. So... <laughs> I think I may have just got myself in another massive, unsustainable war of attrition here. If I can steal the French Navy, <laughs> then I think I can do it. I, I, yeah, I think I will block any trade coming in from these regions, so they'll have to sail around. But uh, I can't have any trade coming through those aerials. And I'm just going to continue to wait for a little while, keep on building my intelligence agency up. I've got more than enough to do that. Oh, right. I am also at war with them. I keep forgetting I'm at war with France. I could just try and blitz through. Because uh, do they have forts? They have some trenches. Okay, send the fortress buster down with his elites. He's also a ranger, a fortress buster, improvisation expert. Yes. So they have trucks. So they're just going to go absolute ham and uh, start taking everything. So I need to really stop their trucks. Okay. It was just a little... A little bit of a risky attack from them there, I feel. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty bonkers if I can actually break the Maginot. I don't really predict that I'm going to, but I'll do the siege artillery and try and attack. If I... I'm making it through the Maginot, aren't I? Yeah. If you're looking for my division template, we're... we're we're trying something. <laughs> and it's working. I might be able to get this encirclement. Oh! Oh! Well, it, oh, you can absolutely eat my... Ah, no, it's all right. I'm quicker. Well, let me just stop this assault for a sec and let the French starve. I'm not even going to bother with Belgium. You're safe. Oh, because the, US, the USA are guaranteeing them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm not... Uh, yeah, uh, no. Well, yeah, I, I, I conquered the Maginot by just um, essentially battle planning. Having, having a problem with supply though. We can't really get supply through. Maybe if we do motorization, prioritization, might help a little bit and we'll just take supply as we go. Just log on up, log on up, go on up to Paddy. People are striking. No, 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 Tra uh, training time, though. That's very good. Not winning anymore, are you? French. How many divisions do they have? Not a lot. Oh, the UK barely has any, too. I'm going to take the French Navy and see what kind of uh, fun we can have. What has happened? They've all just gone around on a jolly and they're... Do okay. Um ah! <gasps> Alex, look at the state of it. Lovely jubbly. I'll take the French Navy. Thank you. And then I've got the rest of the points. Um, well, that's coming back to me, obviously. And then we're going to puppet the French. <gasps> what about war reps? I'll take your war reps from this area. Did I forget to take the French fleet? No, sir, I did not. Although I'm certainly having trouble getting naval invaded by the British. Okay, let's get this <laughs> defending like he should be doing. Oh my god. My beautiful, stunning navy. Oh, get out! Jesus. I don't actually know if my navy is going to be large enough to even to even do a whole lot, honestly. But first, I can work on bombing the... Oh, wait. Can I paradroop? Paradroop? Pa can I paradroop? Oh, no. We can't paradrop. It is just marines. So where would the naval invasion tech be? If there is anything towards naval invasion... Never mind. Five naval invasion capacity. Yep. Literally everyone's embargoing me. It appears that in the 1920s, people don't like... People, people, people don't really like you just going around conquering others. So I have a... What I thought was going to be like this mega fleet, but it's turned out to just get... It, it, it got rather annihilated. But I think that um, I'm in a spot now where they, where they can't really attack me too much. I think I'm safe. So I'll try and pick the shortest crossing... And then hope I can get naval supremacy, but I, 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 I'm nervous about this one, ladies and gentlemen. Enemy supremacy. Okay, so Woo! allowed in the channel, the fleet. Um, I'm going to bring it down to the naval base in Friesland. 
And then I'm also going to secure more oil. At least I would have done had the UK not had something to do with it. Go, my pretties! Uh, we're in. I think I only won that naval engagement. Oh, they lost 10 battleships. I think I only won that because of the battleship, but we've got 19 more divisions coming. Oh, they're wrecked. Okay, I think the UK, finally. Oh, they, they're spamming divs. They're spamming the divvies. We've taken London, though. And we've just got a fuel delivery from the US just come in. I mean, it's just, it's game over. It's game over for the UK. Look at how, I just, my division's just, they're 18 combat width. Well. <laughs> I am just puppeting everything today. Ooh, we, oh no, I, did I just make communist Canada? Puppet the Raj. Just puppeting. I, <laughs> Woohoo! Waha! Okay, I think that's probably where I'll leave it today. Um, it's certainly an interesting start date. If there are better nations that I could try, please do let me know. But if you did enjoy this return to randomness, return to a rambling with Alex the Rambler, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, expect more content coming soon. It's great to be back, and I'll I'll speak to you again. Ta-da! Many thanks to the Patreon cult leaders, Amazon Fulfillment Strategist, Dr. Fotska and Jack Troku. And many thanks to the Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Hegu, Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you.